Uh, this video is about the Polar Challenge. This is a mission marathon for World of Tanks where you can win a free premium tank, which is the Object 274A medium tank in Tier 8, and this is an image of the tank. Uh, it is progressive, meaning that every stage you have to get more experience, starting with 2,000 going up to 50. Uh, the first few stages will be easier to complete. You do get a 10% discount on purchasing the vehicle for each stage that you complete. In order to complete a stage, you either have to be in the top 10 for EXP per game and accumulate the amount of EXP. I'm going to show you a few samples. This one is 17,000. This one is 32,000. And this one is 50,000, which allows you to earn the prize or the discount. Or you can do something called a mission for mastery. The first couple of missions for mastery is really easy. For example, it says high caliber award one time. It's not so difficult. They do have to be tier nine and 10 vehicles. Cause at least 35 HP of damage once and be one of the top three players on your team by damage. It's not so hard. Earn at least 800 points of base experience four times. Uh, but as it gets higher, it's going to become more complicated. Finish the battle as a top player on your team by experience earned 35 times. Uh, that's, I think it's going to be a little bit more difficult. And in this case, you might go either way in trying to uh, complete the mission. Uh, you can earn prizes. It's 10% discount per stage. I usually complete the ninth stage and then I just pay uh, the remaining balance, which is usually around $7 uh, for the final um, product. Uh, you're going to end up winning around a million in silver. See over here, it's 500,000. Over here, it's 300,000, 200,000. You're going to earn directives and personal reserves, uh, some premium days, equipment, in this case, vents. And if you complete the mission, you earn the Object 274A medium tank, a universal manual, and a garage slot. Uh, it does start November 27th. Mine says 3 p.m., which is my local time. It might start at a different time uh, where you are. And I, I'm not sure if it's a 10-day challenge. It doesn't have the end date uh, here. So when you play the first day, you should get up to like stage four. And then uh, the next day, you're going to finish stage five, stage six, stage seven. And then it's going to become a little bit more difficult to complete stage eight and stage nine. It's going to take you uh, one and a half days or two days, depending on how much you play. And then to complete uh, the final stage will probably take you two days of gameplay unless you happen to be top player by experience 35 times. In order to do the mastery missions, you do have to do it in tier 9 or 10 vehicles. Okay, so that is the event. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this vehicle. It is a medium tank. It has a crew of four, commander, gunner, driver, loader. Uh, the gun has 227 average penetration. For tier 8, 227 is pretty much average. It's a little bit high average, but it's still average. 289 for the uh, gold round penetration. 289 for gold round penetration is actually pretty good for tier 8. And 62 for HE damage. I'm sorry, HE penetration. And 62 is definitely above average for any tank in the game for HE penetration. Uh, it takes uh, nine seconds to load the gun, a little bit long. 2.7 aiming time, a little bit long. Uh, dispersion is 0.38, nothing special about that. So the gun is going to be nothing amazing. Uh, you're going to get more EXP, more credits. Uh, you can use all of your crew from your... Uh, other Russian medium tanks. It does appear apparently come with a stabilizer vents and a turbocharger. I would recommend not using the turbocharger. You probably want to use something to improve the gun and uh, maybe even replace the vents. But otherwise, you can stick with it.
And then we've got all these related items. I don't know if this includes everything that you've won over the game. It's possible that this is everything that you win progressively through the game. 1.1 million credits, lots of consumables, uh, 15 or 12 personal reserves, the universal manual, which is 250,000 EXP for every crew member, vent purge directives, etc. You can also purchase the vehicle, which I expect to be around. They usually make it a little bit of a high price. It'll probably be priced around $80. But as you get each percentage off, you can get this vehicle for free. So you can see that the, the frontal sloping looks pretty good. The lower plate looks pretty good. Usually it's weaker on the outsides. Side armor, nothing special. Rear armor, nothing special. Got a nice round slope. <coughs> Capola is shallow, which is pretty good. Uh, looks like it'll be a decent tank. Um, I don't know how big it is compared to the other tanks. 1,200 hit points. Uh, concealment, nothing special, but this is also without the crew in it. View range is pretty common. Okay, that's the vehicle. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.